Hello, what is the Crows of Taxmaster? Welcome back to another episode of Crows Newsletter. This week we got a few games, and two of them are pretty popular, and the other one, actually, they're all popular. Just one of them, I see one of them as a, as a joke, but I see people play it like it's some sort of fan, like some sort of like, like, like trend or anything, and it's, I got used to it, and I kind of like a little bit of the gameplay footage. I, I will get to each one. So first, first of all, let's start with the first game. Uh, it's actually a very popular game. Uh, I remember just playing this back in the '64, and that's how popular it had gotten. And I don't know, they have, you know, they have converted it over now to different consoles. But it's Tony Hawk Pro Skater Five, and I love the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series. Just mm. once I played the GameCube version, I was like, "Yep, I'm gonna do it." And the cool part is like, what's so special about Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Well. Cause on top of that, they have great skate park like skate park designs or places that you like. Oh, sweet! I can grind here, but also like, wait, if I like, you know, use the game mechanics, you know, I can launch off. Pretty much, uh, Tony Hawk Five, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Five offers a new take on a combo-driven skateboarding, the most advanced pro skater online multiplayer experience in the Tony Hawk game, a state-of-the-art skate park builder ride build and repeat. Pretty much, ride, build, repeat. That's what it is, and I love it because you could now. Now I know you could build online. I'm assuming you could like share these uh, park design, uh, your skate park designs, on, you know, with multiple people. You know, it, it'd be like Mario Maker but for skateboarding. And I love the, you know, I just love it because you know some people have just the craziest ideas that like, oh, you could hit this, but you can't mess up. You know, you do this and this, and a good skate park. Is the one that you could experience new moves, and I like I like what Tony Hawk Park Tony Pro Skater Park is because some people just I haven't seen so many of them, but man, when I remember my cousin just us building them, recreating each design, see how much we could create. Oh man, and and having the you know the Pro Skater on the new generation console is it's just a next step up. Right now, it's gonna be released on the 29th. Which is, will be on tomorrow, and the console will be available will be the PS3, the PS4, the Xbox 360, and Xbox One. So pretty much, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't get it. For me, I have no reason. Literally, I don't. I mean, I would love to play. Just I don't have none of the consoles, and I don't plan to for a very for a while now. But let's go on to the next game, which is personally my favorite. Persona 4. I haven't played any of the Persona games, to tell you the truth. And I'm, you know, I look at myself like, why haven't you played the Persona, you know, games? Pretty much, Persona 4 Dancing All Night. It's pretty much like a dancing game, you know, pretty much like, like, uh, like Dance Dance Revolution, but with the more, it's the more little motion driven under the up down left right ap you gotta do little circles you gotta slide you gotta do all this stuff and it's really good it's for the ps vita for sure so i, I really love it because it's really going to use the touch screen for this but let's see what the summary says it says persona 4 dancing all night is a story driven music game of persona 4 it's developed by atlas replacing the rpg elements are dazzling battles that challenge players' dexterity and accuracy as they tap out remixes of fan favorite themes and brand new music tracks. So obviously they remove all that, you know, RPG stuff, but with dancing and obviously you gotta have great dexterity and accuracy automatically. I would love to play the game just because dexterity and accuracy is like what I love to play games on, you know. I like MMOs. And I love, you know, dance, 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 revolution kind of style games, you know, dancing element games. I love those. It's just a game like that. You can experience a whole Persona game just by dancing now. If you, you're know, not skilled enough to, you know, make a right battle decision, maybe you're skilled enough to hit multiple buttons at the same time. And that's why I really look forward in this game right now. I'm so excited, actually. Now... Now, moving on to the last game, I'm moving a little too fast because these games are really good and I would love to see some gameplay footage. It's Farm, Simula Farm Simulator 16. And if you know anything about the Farm Simulation series, whew, it has gone up a lot. 
from I think I don't remember the first one, but for sure I remember fourteen and fifteen for sure. But it's now sixteen. Ooh, new equipment, new farming techniques, you know, different environments. Ooh, I'm gonna love it. Love it. Pretty much just manage your arm, your own farm, and drive massive machines in your open world. It's literally an open world game where you just gotta raise things, and who you can get some crazy machines, some crazy action. Yogg's cast have done Farm Simulator 15 for sure, and you can watch them play and who just what you could do on it, and just the quest is so. You could just see like a small glimpse, even though it's not it doesn't pick the real life. Even a video game, they make it hard for farming. You have to have these proper machines. You gotta have to do this. You gotta make sure you have the right equipment. You make sure the, you know, it just, it's not just, oh, I'm gonna make it. You know, I'm gonna make a farm, raise it, water, blah. No, you gotta have the proper equipment. You gotta have the proper, you know, people. You gotta have, you know, hire people. You gotta make sure you have enough money. It's all real, real, like real life lessons, you could say. It helps you teach, you know, proper planning and management. And I really love this game. Let's go on to my series on my channel. Um, obviously, I'm going to be playing Sonic. Right now, I'm not sure. I'm going to have Minecraft out. I'm going to see if we can get, I'm going to try to do my best. If not, I do got a special video I want to do then. But it's going to take me a while to get my hands down. But I have, I think, two days to practice or whatever. I have the schedule around here somewhere, but I have, I should have enough time to practice and get it down by Friday when I need to. And hey guys, uh, this is a glimpse because I know right now it's un, un, you know, determined for me yet, even to this point, but I think I might have a little extra time and I will be able to, uh, kick up my footage to maybe five every day of the week now. I said weekends, maybe weekends, maybe skip Wednesday and do Saturday so that it would be awesome you know having five videos a week I think we could get a lot done personally then I will have to open a newspaper because Minecraft takes too long to record and obviously I'll be done by time with Sonic Battles 2 so I got a few games up my sleeve that I would mind beating but then I will have to go in and uh, start doing some walkthroughs on it for sure. So that's pretty much on we got we got going on for my channel. Uh, anything else I should be aware of? Not really at the moment. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more handheld games. Not because I can't do them. It's because it's really really hard to do handheld games because they're so linear. Right now, at the moment, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing more modern, but back then, they were still somewhat linear, and I wouldn't mind doing something else right now. I, right now, I want to stick with consoles right now, or like major PC games or anything that I get, you know, something that ha I had to like sit down and play and I just walk around. Though, Pokemon might be an exception or something, but right now, I'm just worried about consoles because whew, there's so many console games I really want to play. But that's all for this week. I'll see you guys next week and see what other games we had coming out. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.